Hey everyone, Justin Joseph here from ProjectCUE.com, and I'll be taking a look at an RPG that most definitely missed a lot of people's radars. I speak of none other than From Software and Atlas's Demon Souls. Alright, so the most important thing to know about this game is that it has no interest in being your friend. If you're the type of gamer that can't handle excessively high challenges, then you really shouldn't attempt to play this. For everyone else, you're in for one heck of an aggravating but rewarding experience. Surprisingly enough, the plot isn't exactly oh my gosh awesome for the type of game Demon Souls is. An evil fog is slowly consuming the kingdom of Boletaria, and from it has come all sorts of nasty demons. Your job is to eradicate this threat once and for all. What makes this RPG so special, though, is that it's truly your experience to have. No one holds your hand here, as every decision you make has a potentially significant impact on not only the characters you relate with, but also how your personal character evolves. There are many classes to choose from, ranging from the classic soldier, to a magician, which is my primary character, and even a temple knight. Each comes with something exclusive as you start, as I already had two spells to cast, when no one else would have. The type of equipment you wield also varies, so the classes of Demon Souls are not even remotely cookie cutter. If you don't build your character according to how you think you'll play, you won't have any fun at all. This is also intended to be a single player affair. While an interesting and voiceless cooperative option is available over PlayStation Network, for the most part you'll be battling all sorts of nasty enemies on your own strength. The key to battle in Demon Souls is total concentration, timing, and some luck here and there. The reason being is that no matter how strong you ever grow to be in the game, you can be defeated pretty easily and quickly. From Software designed all encounters to be a potential deathbed for you, and I truly respect this decision. Yes, it absolutely sucks to lose more Demon Souls than you'll ever require, but that's where the reward comes into play. You see, defeating enemies nets you souls, and they happen to be both your means of leveling up and the general currency. If you die at the hands of any enemy, you have but one opportunity to return to where that happened to retrieve the souls you lost. But if you fail to reach that spot, kiss all your hard work goodbye. This means it's an absolute must to learn how to block and dodge effectively, especially when facing more than two enemies at a time. Thankfully, the more cell levels you reach and the stronger your character becomes, the better you should be at the game. But even then, you can't let your guard down. Just wait until you face the many harsh bosses. Chances are you'll never defeat one on your first try, let alone perhaps even the first five. Outside of co-op, Demon Souls has changed how you play RPGs with online integration. Through the PlayStation Network, there's a very nifty message system that allows you to leave predetermined text anywhere you please in the many worlds this game has. You can choose to be helpful, and perhaps be recommended by others and receive a full health replenishment as a result, or be a jerk and try to fool others into an unlucky death that you may have experienced yourself. That's not all. You can even choose to invade another person's version of the game world and try to defeat them, which would in turn return you to physical form in your world, because throughout most of this game, you're in soul form with a lesser maximum health. Duels are possible as well, which puts large numbers of demon souls on the line between two people. From a presentation standpoint, From Software has created one of the darkest and most depressing RPGs, and I wouldn't have it any other way. The pitch black corridors, rundown environments, and all around despair fit the theme of this game perfectly, as does the appropriately moody soundtrack. The voices range from well done to completely unfitting to the character, but I suppose beggars can't be choosers in this regard. It is funny though how the ragdoll physics cause enemy corpses to get caught up in your feet. Using this to kick foes off of ledges and such is uh, rather humorous. So as a whole, Demon Souls really came out of nowhere, but that's really no surprise considering Atlas here. This is easily the best PS3 RPG to date, and overall one of the best ever designed. 
Too many games nowadays are absolute cakewalks, and while there's certainly a place for those experiences, it's refreshing to play something that has absolutely no regard for your feelings. If you think you can handle Boletaria's Sinister Demon Army, by all means pick this one up, which I've given a 9.0 on behalf of Project CUE. Thanks for tuning in everybody, I'll see you later.